Discover how you can invest in the stock market and become financially secure. Young people often don't think about retirement, assuming it's far off. However, it's crucial for millennials, born 1980 to 2000, to plan ahead for a comfortable retirement. Investing in the stock market is key. On this episode, I will explain why relying on a state pension might not be enough, how $10,000 can grow to $4.7 million, and why following the crowd in investing isn't the best approach. Lesson number one, to secure your financial future, start investing in the stock market as early as possible. In 50 years, do you want a comfortable life with financial security or rely on a small pension with constant financial worries? To achieve lasting stability, relying on savings accounts may not be effective due to low interest rates that don't keep up with inflation. Instead, consider investing in the stock market early in life. Starting young allows your money more time to grow. For instance, investing $10,000 annually with a 7% return can result in $4.7 million by age 65 if you start at 22, compared to just $1 million if you start at 40. Despite the clear benefits, many millennials hesitate to invest early, influenced by the 2008 financial crisis that made them more risk-averse than their parents' generation. A 2014 survey showed only 28% of millennials invested in stocks, contrasting with 46% of other generations. Lesson number two. For millennials, rising public debt and an aging population spell an uncertain financial future. Some people assume they don't need to invest for the future because they expect a pension when they retire. However, with the aging population in America, there's a real chance that pensions may not be sustainable due to increasing costs for the government. Life expectancy has risen significantly, leading to higher expenses for pensions and health care. The current trajectory, especially with baby boomers retiring, suggests that these costs will continue to grow. The government, facing financial challenges, might not guarantee retirement benefits for future generations. Government finances need to balance, just like a business. Currently, there's a $9.6 trillion gap between projected benefits spending and expected tax revenue over the next 75 years. This poses a significant problem for millennials, as they may not receive the same benefits despite currently paying taxes to support the elderly. To secure their financial future, millennials should start investing in the stock market early, as government assistance may not be reliable. Lesson number three. If you're planning for your long-term future, invest in stock markets all across the world. When starting to invest in the stock market, a key principle is to diversify globally. Avoid putting all your money into a few companies from one country, as it's a risky strategy. The example of Japan's Nikkei Index in 1989 highlights the dangers of relying on a single market. Some people concentrate investments in familiar companies or markets they know well, but this approach can lead to significant losses if that market falters. To invest successfully, it's essential to diversify across various sectors and regions. This not only protects your money in case of a market downturn, but also opens up opportunities for higher returns. Diversification also takes advantage of currency fluctuations. When you invest in a company based in another country, changes in the currency value can impact your investment's value. For example, if you invest in a South Korean company and the South Korean won strengthens against the U.S. dollar, your investment gains value. In essence, investing in the stock market means investing not only in companies, but also in currencies. Lesson number four. If you want to maximize your earnings, follow investment strategies that diverge from the mainstream. Many people base their investment strategies on expert recommendations, often favoring the sector leader's strategy, 
which involves buying shares of the best-performing companies according to a market index like the S&P 500. Index funds, aggregating stocks from the largest companies, are a popular and secure option due to their low cost. However, if you aim for the highest returns, simply following the crowd might not be the best approach. Index funds, while providing good returns, generally won't outperform the market, especially when trying to match the market index. There's another strategy to consider, the sector bargain strategy. This involves buying the cheapest stocks rather than the best performing ones to maximize returns. Despite seeming counterintuitive, such approaches often outperform the sector leader strategy in the long run. For example, since 1979, the Russell 3000, which follows a bargain strategy, has outperformed the S&P 500 by over 1,100%. Lesson number five, choose an investment strategy that combines several good selection criteria. The ideal investment approach, which we'll call the millennial money strategy, involves buying cheap stocks from valuable companies. This strategy aims to stretch your investment and maximize future returns by identifying true bargains, not just the cheapest stocks available. To evaluate a company's long-term prospects, consider its earnings and cash flow. Look for companies with a cheap share price and secure finances by comparing stock price to cash flow. Boost this strategy by identifying momentum. Look for cheaper shares with substantial price increases in the last six months. Combining value seeking with momentum has proven successful. Since 1972, companies meeting these criteria have grown at an annual rate twice that of the overall market. Lesson number six, don't let your instincts drive your investment decisions. Humans are prone to making investment mistakes due to their hardwired tendencies, such as irrational fear and greediness. Scientifically proven phenomena like constructive paranoia and excessive fear of loss can influence decision making. For example, a study showed that after experiencing a loss, participants were less willing to invest, even though there was a 50% chance of winning a high reward. These tendencies impact the market, leading to actions like buying at market peaks due to fear of missing out and selling at market bottoms out of fear of losing everything. This behavior contradicts the basic rule of buying low and selling high in stock trading. Greediness also plays a role in driving financial bubbles, where people pursue rewards despite a high likelihood of the bubble bursting. While instincts can't be eliminated, Separating them from investments is possible through automation. Setting up an automatic payment system from your bank account to your investment account following a predetermined strategy helps minimize the influence of instincts and emotions on investment decisions. Lesson number seven, long-term thinking is the path to profitable investment. Inexperienced investors may think they should sell shares when they start losing value driven by a desire for instant gratification influenced by the brain's emotional center, the limbic system. This short-term thinking is not typically profitable. Even professional investors can fall into the trap of short-term strategies to demonstrate quick success within their career horizons. However, data shows that the most profitable investments require several decades, around 30 years, to mature. Despite short-term market fluctuations, the overall trajectory tends to be upward in the long term. While stocks may lose value in one-year periods 31% of the time, stock indexes have never lost money over a 20-year period. In contrast, bonds lose their value half the time over the same 20-year period. This emphasizes the importance of a long-term perspective for investment success. So, in summary, to secure their financial future, millennials should start investing in the stock market early, following a few simple guidelines for long-term success. Diversify your portfolio globally. Stick to your strategy.
and make investment decisions that go against the flow. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Watch more videos by clicking on this video right over here.